You hate the pen tool. I could tell. I also hate the pen tool. So that was until I learned all the super advanced uh, pen tool tips and tricks. Now, me in love. All right, my name is Dan Scott. I am an Adobe Certified Instructor, Chief Course Creator at Bring Your Own Laptop, and today you're gonna learn all the advanced pen tool tricks. The first tip is often when you are starting with the pen tool, you can go to view and turn smart guides off. I often turn that off when I'm working with the pen tool. The shortcut on a Mac is Command U, on a PC it's Control U. So I'm gonna turn that off. The next tip is to change the anchor points, make them a bit bigger. They can be quite small on some displays. So on my Mac, I go up to the word Illustrator at the top, go to Settings, and down to this one, Selection and Anchor Display. If you're on a PC, go to Edit, General, or Edit, Settings, um, and go to the same thing, Section and Anchor Display. And let's crank this one up. Okay, anchor points are massive. Let's see what we got. So when I grab my pen tool, which is the P key on my keyboard, watch this, boom. Look how big these guys are. <laughs> giant handles, you might find something in between. I'm gonna see if we can work with the giant handles just to make it easier for the video. You find the size that works for you. All right, so I've got the pen tool and just note if you are, haven't got much experience with the pen tool, none at all, you might wanna check out the essentials course version of the pen tool. Um, but if you've got some basic skills, you should be all right. We're gonna kind of supercharge pen tool here, just so you know, it does take a lot of practice. Okay, so if you did watch the essentials version, the way I teach it to kind of get used to it and a lot of self-taught people, I'll click once for a corner, I'll get to this curve here and they'll go okay drag out click and drag for a curve click once for a corner click and drag and that is fine it kind of works what you'll find is you've got extra anchor points that you don't need I've got one two and three defining this curve down the bottom here and that works fine but you'll find the more anchor points you have the less smooth things are especially for something like this where it's really small I've got one two and three defining this curve so the trick is, I'm gonna undo, 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 undo. Uh, I'm gonna start down the bottom here. And the weird thing is, is instead of putting the curve in the middle, I'm gonna put it at this corner point here. I'm gonna show you what I mean. This first one's a bit of a Hail Mary and you don't really know what it does without a bit of practice. Watch this, I'm gonna click, hold and drag. And you're like, I've got a anchor point with some handles coming out. I've dragged it this way because it's the way the line's going. Can you see? You can see what it's doing to the line here. So over here as well, I'm gonna click, hold and drag it out. Okay, and you can see I can do the exact same thing, the same curve, but only two anchor points and the handles on both ends are doing all the work. The trick is this bit down the bottom here. Okay, what is happening to this? So what I can do is I can hold down my Option key down here and I can break this, watch. Holding down my Option and it jumps to, you see my cursor changes? From the Pen tool to the Convert Anchor Point tool. And I can click, hold and drag this and kind of just break it over here. Okay, get it at the top head. I want to drag it out again. Even though it's not perfect, I do need both the top and the bottom handles. Just doing the bottom one will kind of work. I like to have them at both the top and the bottom or at least the first and second anchor point. Okay, roughly we can fix this up afterwards. So again, I need to break this one, so hold down my Option key on my Mac, Alt key on a PC, and I can kind of break it to get it to go where I want. Same over here, I'm gonna click, hold and drag to get the curve. Gonna hold down my Option key to break it to get it to go where I want. And it takes a little bit of time, but forget about the apex, go to the top here, drag it out, hold down my Option or Alt key, okay, and break it off. And you gotta kind of know that the anchor point will drag the line this way and that's the bit of experience that it takes a little while now that might be advanced enough but if you want to go super advanced what happens is watch this i'm going to drag this line out of here instead of letting go then holding the option key and breaking it what you can do is you can say drag and before you even let go of the mouse hold the option key on a mac alt key on a pc and it breaks it in one go okay so just removes one little step it's how i've got fast uh, drawing things with a pen tool but yes, it is quite complicated. This one here, this line, there's too many curves going on. I've got two handles, so I can bend the line two different ways, like up and down, or in this case, both the same sort of way. But this one is one curve, another curve, another curve, another curve, there's too many going on. So I've got this first one going, but I'm gonna need one here, okay? Sometimes you just can't control it all with just two anchor points. You need one, two, and I'm gonna need this third one down here. Again, hold the Option key or the Alt key before I let go. I'm just getting it roughly in. I can get it pretty close, but even if you're a pro, it does take a bit of time afterwards to tidy everything up. And you see where you've dragged the handle in too far? I find it's actually easier being quite zoomed in, okay, when you are doing these. You see that one's too far out? This is gonna lead me into my next little super duper shortcut, okay, is I can do this and keep going and come back and fix it, but I can fix it while I'm working. Yes, you can. Okay, so it is the Command key on a Mac the control key on a PC. So we've done two. We've done the option Alt, okay, which allows us to break 
the line. And now we're doing the command or control key, depending if you're Mac or PC. And what it is, is we can drag this anchor point, look at that, whilst we're working. So I just held down that key, command on a Mac, control on PC, just dragged it back home a bit, just so it's not wrecking my drawing so much. So I can actually do pretty close to finished using those tricks. Again, drag this one out, you holding the option and alt, can drag it to about there, drag this last one out. The last one's always a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's like, hey, do you want this to be a curve? Like, no, no, we don't. So before I let go, I'm gonna hold down the option key, break that one, grab this one, hold down my option key on a Mac, alt key on a PC, get you back to where you started. The first and last join is always a bit tricky. Kind of doesn't know what you mean, so it jumps around a bit. So now I can stay on my pen tool here, okay, and hold down those keys. Remember, command basically just switches it to the direct selection tool, and the option key drags it to, or changes it to, to the convert to anchor point tool. So I never go back to the direct selection tool. I can, but I'm just gonna go around and go, you I want this to do a lot of the work there. This is a hand drawing, so it's never gonna line up perfectly. See this one here? I want it to be mostly straight and let this curve do all the work. I could put another anchor point in here, but you end up with this like little kind of like kink in your pen line, which is also called the stroke pen line. Okay, and the same here. Okay, I can work my way around. I've still got the pen tool selected. Okay, I'm just clicking on anchor points, finishing these up, click on this anchor point, move the handles, the little moons. Okay, and this one here, what I wanna do. This one here is trickier. If I use those same techniques, you know we got to the end here and it went, oh, you're gonna be a curve. And it kind of, I had to fix it afterwards. We went all the way around. This one here, if I click and drag for the first one, okay, click and drag for this one. Haven't quite got it, that's right. Hold option to break it. Go down this way. Okay, come this one. You can see what it's done. It has done what we did when we got to this edge of the flipper here and it's kind of turned into a curve, but that's okay. We can hold down our option key on a Mac, hold key on a PC just to kind of force it to go around. Sometimes here, can you see it's got this uh, handle selected, but not this bottom one. It didn't disappear, but it doesn't know you've meant to select these ones. So sometimes you gotta hold your command or control key, click on that once to highlight the anchor point to get all these things to spill back out. Sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't. All right. Hmm. All right, what do you think? Do you like the tricks? I got a couple of other ones. Let's have a look at this one here. Okay, another little tip is we've looked at the optional rock key, okay, the command or control key, depending if you make a PC, and the last one is spacebar, which is the same for all of them. So let's say I start down the bottom here, start getting my curve, go up the top here, and I just kind of miss it. It's just way off, okay, and I start dragging, you're like, ugh. Okay, if you hold spacebar before you let go, can you see you can move the anchor point, let go of spacebar, and then keep dragging. It has to be all in one motion, so your mouse has to be down the whole time. So click, hold, and drag, click, hold, and you get it wrong, click, hold, and drag, but before I let go of my mouse, hold spacebar. And you're like, yeah, you go. There you go, look at us, pen tool masters. Another trick is we go back to the command key on a Mac, control key on a PC. We use it a second ago for selecting back to the direct selection tool. Remember we could use it to kind of like adjust this. Okay, we can use it while we're drawing. So earlier in the video, I showed you how to like start doing it and then let go and then hold the command or control key and adjust it. You can do it while you're drawing, watch this. I can say, say I want to point, actually I'm gonna break this one, holding my alt or option. Okay, then I'm gonna start dragging here, okay. And sometimes you need the moon on the other side, the little handle, to be shorter on one side than the other. And you're like, why are they the same length? Okay, before you stop dragging, okay, so we get here, you hold the command key down. They're still connected, but you can see one can get shorter, one can get longer. Ooh, I don't do that very often, <laughs> but you can. This is the advanced shortcut stuff. Okay, there we go. Now we've got smart guides off. Sometimes smart guides need to be on. Okay, it's command U. Okay, and sometimes it just snaps way too big. And again, the tip for this, we kind of looked at it earlier, is if you're like, don't, just get close, just zoom in, okay? And you'll get lots more screen real estate and you can get a lot closer to a line without actually joining it up. Okay, you want it to start close without it actually connecting. Just zoom in a bit. Last but not least, say that you do want these things to line up. Okay, so um, it might be that you've already got some existing. Actually, I'm gonna draw something real quick. All right, I'm gonna turn off on my layers panel this one here. I want these to line up down the bottom here. I don't wanna just kind of like snap them. I want these paths to line up. 
because I could turn on my smart guides and I could just line these things up and try and snap them. Okay, and that kind of works, what I want to do. Okay, but what I want to do is actually leave the top part of this alone and I just want these anchor points to line up. So I'm going to go into Outline Modes, Command Y on a Mac, Control Y on a PC. I'm going to go to my Direct Selection tool, which is the A key. Okay, and I'm going to go to both of you guys. I don't want to move them around. I just want you two to go to Object. Let's go to Path. And let's go to this one called Average. And let's average them both. And watch what happens. Bam. It kind of lines them up. Cool, huh? So sometimes you kind of line things up and you're like, oh, it's close enough. <laughs> Nobody can see. But you can actually technically get them bang in the same place by selecting just the anchor points you want and then going up to Object, Path, and Average. But you've got to have something selected first. Otherwise, if it's grayed out, there you go. It's a good uh, tip. Make sure if it's grayed out, you've got to have them selected first with the Direct Selection tool. All right, I hope you and the pen tool are getting on just a little bit better. Uh, maybe a little makeup hug after all the cursing you've done in it over the years. You know you have. What I really hope is there was a good few like, ah, ah, that's how it works moments in the course. If there was a few of those, you probably want to check out my Illustrator Advanced course. There's over a hundred videos all jam packed with all those ah, ah moments. Enroll and join me for a structured Illustrator advanced course. There's class projects, there's teaching assistants to help, there's a quiz, monthly design challenges, and the all important certificate. Link for that in the description. All right, my name is Dan Scott. That is it. I will hopefully see you in class. Bye.